For this batch of exercises, we want to use FOIL on radical expressions. So let's start with A here. We have 8 rad y plus z, all of that times the quantity 4 rad y minus 1. And you just use FOIL on these. F O I L, first, outside, inside, last. Right? These are standard FOIL. The same old fashioned FOIL still works on these. So first, let's see, we have 8 times 4 is 32. Okay, and then rad y times rad y, rad y times rad y is rad y squared, which is indeed y. And we're assuming all variables are positive, so we don't have to put an absolute value here or anything like that. So 32y for first. Outside, okay, now we're doing the outside here. 8 rad y times negative 1 is minus 8 rad y. Inside, plus 4z rad y. And then last, we're doing, here we go, z and minus 1, so minus z. Now, you combine like terms only when all the variables and the radicals line up. So here, if you look at this, we have a y, we have a rad y, we have a z rad y, and we have a z. None of those line up, so there's no further simplification we can do here. That long thing is our final answer. No other simplification. Let's look at b. Here we have 5 rad 7x minus rad 2x, all of that quantity times the quantity 4 rad 7x plus 6 rad 2x. Okay, again with the FOIL, right? FOIL is the tried and true. Anytime you have one binomial uh, times another, FOIL's pretty much the way to go. So first, okay, 5 times 4 is 20, and rad 7x times rad 7x is indeed 7x for the same reason that we had up here with the y's. Outside, okay, the outside, so 5 times 6 is 30, so plus 30. And then what's going on on the inside? Let's just, let's just put those together inside the radical. We have 7x times 2x, so that's 14, 14x squared. Okay, so that's outside, inside, okay, so minus 4 times radical, 2x times 7x again is 14x squared. Okay, and then last. Last we have a minus rad 2x times 6 rad 2x, so that's minus 6, and then rad 2x times rad 2x is simply 2x, so times 2x. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit. On both these middle terms, since we have a square root of x squared, well, a square root of x squared is simply x, so out comes an x on both of these. Single x. Oops. X. Okay, so that helps a little bit. So let's see what we're working with here. 20 times 7 is 140x plus 30x rad 14 minus 4x rad 14. And then we have, what, minus 12x here. Okay, so now we can combine some like terms. These x terms go together, and then here note that the combination of variables and radicals are the same, so these two can go together. 40x minus 12x gives us 128x, and then 30x rad 14 minus 4x rad 14 minus, uh, make that plus, 26x rad 14. There we go. We can't combine these two anymore because we need the variables and radicals to completely match. Here we have this rad 14, so we cannot go any further combining these terms. Part C looks a little strange, but we still use FOIL. Right here we have cube root of A plus 2, all that times quantity cube root of A plus 7. Hit it with the FOIL, right? Binomial times binomial. FOIL is the way to go. Okay, first. First is cube root of A times cube root of A. Well, let's see what happens there. Cube root of A times cube root of A. Well, these are the same index, so we can combine like so. Cube root of A squared. They combine under the radical. So the first here is cube root of A squared. All right, the outside terms. So that looks like plus 7 cubed root of A inside plus 2 cubed root of a, and then our last, 2 times 7, right, 14, so plus 14. 
Well, it looks like we have some like terms here. We have a cubed root of a and a cubed root of a, so let's combine these two. Nothing else combines, so we're left with cubed root of a squared plus 7 plus 2 is 9 cubed root of a plus 14. Note that we cannot combine the cubed root of a squared with the cubed root of a. Those radical terms have to match exactly to be able to combine them as like terms. So this is as good as it gets for this problem. Let's look at d. For d we have cubed root of 3 plus cubed root of 2. All of that quantity times the quantity of cubed root of 9 minus cubed root of 4. All right, well, you guessed it, FOIL. All right, the tried and true FOIL comes through again. Here we go. First, huh, cubed root of 3 times 9. Well, that gives us cubed root of 27. Okay, for outside, we have cubed root of 3 times negative cubed root of 4. That gives us minus cubed root of 12. Inside, here we go, cubed root of 2 times cubed root of 9. That gives us plus cubed root of 18. And finally, last, cubed root of 2 times minus cubed root of 4 gives us minus cubed root of 8. Let's clean this up where we can. We're looking for perfect cubes. Well, 27 is a perfect cube. Cubed root of 27 is 3. And if you don't know that, that's probably something you should take note of, right? We should be able to recognize that the cubed root of 27 is 3, cubed root of 64 is 4, cubed root of 125 is 5. Uh, is there a perfect cube tucked into 12? Well, there's not. 12 is 4 times 3. No perfect cubes in that one, so we leave it. Cubed root of 12. Same thing with 18. 18 is 9 times 2. That's 3 times 3 times 2. Nothing appears 3 times in that factorization, so we leave it alone. Cubed root of 18, but cubed root of 8 is 2, so minus 2. Okay, then we can combine like terms. We don't have much. We just have the 3 and the 2. 3 minus 2 is 1, so our final answer here is 1 minus cubed root of 12 plus cubed root of 18. And note that we can't combine the cubed root of 12 and 18 in any way because those are different radicals. They do not combine. There we go.